What's America gonna think about such a conniving, nasty individual? Do you think I really care? This ain't a competition. We were all here to do further you, our careers, help do you think them I care out, about America? And, you, uh, and you were here for the wrong reasons. The wrong reasons. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now. When okay. you disrespect someone in jail, what happens? You get your ass beat. When you okay. dis disrespect someone on the streets, you ain't from the streets. But let me okay. tell you what it is. You're gonna get your ass beat. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. I am done being nice to you. Okay. I took you under my wing, and you were a participant. How dare you, as okay. someone that comes in this program, and all the efforts that everybody here put into this okay. for a little ass conniving little girl. Okay. You deserve the street justice, right. and I will find you. Okay. Okay. So, Stephanie. Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. There's a lot of things that were going on between me and Jacqueline at that time. Why would you want to sabotage another participant? In, a, in, a, in a, a program that's about assisting the colonel. There was a target already on her. So you wanted to help yeah. it along? Yeah, yeah, and that's what I did. You expressed joy that she dropped out of the program. Are you happy now that she dropped out of the program? Has that anything changed your mind about that? Every, to me, everything is still the same. Like I said, I don't regret what I've done. My success, I don't regret what I've done. It's a yes or no answer. So, is either you're happy or you're not happy. But that's her decision. Am no, no, I happy no, that she is, dropped out? Are you happy that she dropped out? That's just a simple question, yes or no? I mean, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm happy that she dropped out. It's, it's, not, it's not a, oh, I'm, I hope she would have stayed. I came in here for a reason, and I was dedicated to improving corrections. And to hear that you turned it into some kind of a game show, and when there were so many issues, so many other things going on, I gotta say, I'm shocked and I'm disappointed. All the time you spent attacking her and getting her out and then taking a great deal of joy and sending her out could have been spent on uh, reconnoitering, finding out what's going on and actually being productive. I see what I saw there was unproductive. She was becoming a target. And again, I was in the jail to do a job, not to be anyone's friend. You were in there to be on TV, Stephanie. No, I was not. Yeah, I, was I thought you wanted to, to be on Survivor. I was in there to do a job. Exactly, and I made it to the season finale. You are a pathological liar. Am I call I? your and your credibility is right. for nothing. Is Nobody it? should believe a thing that comes out your really? mouth so because you, it's for nothing. Yeah. Really? I was 100% loyal with you. I had your back even risked after everything that I risked at home. I had your back and put myself in the line of fire just so that you can continue your journey. And I'm a firm believer that you should have went home and I'm a firm believer that I did not one damn thing to you and my conscience is clear. We can see what errors. What you see is what you get with me. You and I are, do think you are that right. you owe me an apology. You need to analyze yourself as a woman and grow. Jacqueline, that's what I'm saying. I owe you an apology, and I'm Thank about you, to sir. get there. I do owe you an apology. I am sorry for uh, lying to you, for trying to get you out, for actually getting you out. I am apologizing for that and throwing you under the bus as many times as I did to get you out. Because sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I, I thought, like I told them, I thought she was, I didn't trust you at first. And I told them, I'm like, I don't trust her. I, I thought you, you was lying to your other inmates about me. So yes, I owe you an apology and I'm sorry. One of the participants intentionally broke her cover and compromised the program. And then Colonel Adger, you decided that for everyone else's safety, that you would shut it down. You would pull everybody out. Right. In my mind at the time, I was more than angry. All the anger that I felt about everything that had been swirling around, it was directed at you. When I heard about what happened, I mean, if that word would have got around to, to where we were, mm -hmm. I mean, it would have been, there would have been some, a lot of bloodshed. And so that was, that was the stupidest decision I've ever heard of. One of the reasons we all did this show was to, to make the system better and to find out, you know, why contraband and whatever our reasons were. And then you find out that She's doing drugs and then, you know, fall in love and saying, hey, I'm on a TV show. And if that would have got back to our cell, man, it would just, it would have been bad. With me and Angel, we trained together and I was real worried about her. And the reason why, because she came in like a firecracker. She had a hat back for her. She's, you know, she, I loved her right away. Yeah, that's my girl. I'm rooting for her. 
When I found out that she fell in love with somebody, ain't nothing wrong with that. Love is love, man, you know? You can't stop a heart. But we're your brothers and sisters here. We're the ones that went in there with you. You know what I mean? We went in there with a, with a bond, that we're doing this for the Colonel, we're doing this together. I was so mad because I had a plan to reach out to certain kids out there. And I was touching one at a time, and I'm like, man, I'm on a roll, this is it. If, if I could just touch one person, that, that's it. You robbed me from that. And I was so mad when I found out, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry, Johnny. It, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. But, but I understand because it's love. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's love. You know, I, I have no excuse for it. I do not make excuses for myself. Um, I can't even give you an answer for that. You know, I am human, you know? And I don't, when I went into this program, I didn't look at those women as inmates. I looked at them as humans who made human errors. So I'm not about to judge somebody for what they've done or what they've been through. Because I've seen it. It's different when you're from the hood and you see that pain and you feel that pain. So can we turn for a minute and just talk about Gabby? Are you still with her? You communicating with her? Um, yeah, we, uh, she actually called me the other night. I have a deep compassion for her. I really sympathize with her a lot. And I see how we as humans, we, we lack compassion for, for those that actually have been through stuff. We, we lack uh, 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 empathy and, and just being able to be like, you know what, you've, you've f***ed up, you have done drugs, you have done this, but I love you regardless. There's you a know? bit of a, there's a bit of a gap between, there, there is extreme between gap. I have empathy and sympathy and I love you as a human mm -hmm. being and I wanna have sex with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. First, let's stop there. I do love Gabrielle, and I have not stopped loving Gabrielle. So let's not just compare that with sexual kissing and all that kind of stuff. No, no, and I... that's real. Like, that's 100%. I've literally been having struggles with trying to date other people because every time I'm with other people, I think of Gabrielle. You said that you really looked at the inmates around you as human beings, and you've really struggled with the way you feel like they're dehumanized mm -hmm. just by the virtue of, of the fact of being behind bars. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that, that drew you to Gabby, that mm -hmm. you saw her as a human who'd had some challenges and some struggles, and I guess I'm trying to figure out how did that turn into, I am attracted to this person, I want to be intimate with this person. That's quite a bit of a gap. Well, True? I mean, I just fell in love with Gabrielle's soul. I feel that even though even though people make mistakes and ooh, ooh, do drugs and like I said, do all that other like, you know, crazy stuff, I do not believe that they are undeserving of love. And that's where my heart lies. And with Gabrielle, you know, I saw that even though, you know what, she lied, man, she, she manipulated me, she deceived me, but damn, I mean, that shows you, you know, even not to call out Stephanie, but you see how it goes. You don't have to be an inmate to lie, to manipulate, to deceive somebody. I did not trust Gabby, not one bit, not one bit. Do right. you have regrets about what you did? I, 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 no, I don't. You really should. I should. 